I think it has a big impact on patients to be able to see their hearts. And so uh, wouldn't it be amazing if on our unit, before heart surgery, we could bring a family into a room and show them in virtual reality what's going on with their heart, uh, why they need the surgery. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could print a heart and have it at their bedside so that anyone who walks in the room knows what's going on with that particular child's defect and can provide more personalized care as a result? Um, wouldn't it be amazing if we could send children home with prints of their heart so that they can keep them and the kids can look at them as they grow up? I sent a message to his mom, who I'd never met either, and said, do you think Mason would like his heart to look a certain way? And I thought maybe he he would want it purple or something like that, but um, she wrote back and said he wants his heart to look like a TIE fighter. <laughs> and so I went to the students I was working with and I, I said, this kid wants his heart to look like a TIE fighter. And they said, of course we can make his heart look like a TIE fighter. <laughs> so I think, you know, kudos to the students and, and junior young people we've got on our team because they bring a level of passion uh, and a level of innovation to our work that uh, I wouldn't be able to do on my own. So, so when he was six, he got a heart transplant. And when we were getting the work up for it, they told him that after the transplant, he would be able to see his old heart. And it became very important to him because he really wanted to know why he was sick, why this happened to him. Communications had fallen in the cracks somehow, and then the heart got thrown out. And he was pretty upset. And um, one of the nurses here, she's amazing, uh, remember his story, so when they were talking about printing 3D heart, she brought Mason up that he really wanted to see his old heart and have some closure with that. So then that brought the opportunity for them to include him in this program. What wasn't good about it? That it wasn't really formed right and like what was, what was still working but not well, but the whole thing could still shut down still. Yeah, so you had half of your heart working but the other half was not. Yeah.